Welcome to Teller's Drum, the exact spot you want to be. Let's talk about the fascinating world of termites, the royal life of kings, queens and their colonies defense. Termites are among the most fascinating social insects, known for their complex colonies, architectural skills, and vital role in ecosystems. Although often seen as pests that destroy wooden structures, termites play a crucial ecological role by breaking down cellulose and recycling nutrients. Unlike many other insects, termites operate within a highly structured society led by a king and queen. These two rulers are at the heart of the colony, responsible for its growth, expansion, and survival. The colony thrives on cooperation, with different castes working in unison to ensure the protection and longevity of their rulers. Among the most intriguing aspects of termite society is how they protect their queen. As the primary reproductive figure, she is the lifeline of the colony, and her survival is paramount. Termites have evolved extraordinary strategies to safeguard their queen from external threats, ensuring the continuation of their lineage. This article will explore the complex world of termites, focusing on their queen, king, and the fascinating ways in which they defend their royal pair. The structure of a termite colony A termite colony is a sophisticated and well-organized society with a strict hierarchy. It consists of three main castes. The royal caste, king and queen, responsible for reproduction. Worker termites, the labor force that builds nests, gathers food, and cares for the young. Soldier termites, the colony's defenders, equipped with specialized body structures to fend off intruders. Each member of the colony has a designated role, and their collective efforts allow the nest to function seamlessly. The division of labor is one of the key reasons termites have survived and thrived for millions of years. The Termite Queen Life, Reproduction, and Role the termite queen is the most important member of the colony. She is an egg-producing machine, ensuring the colony's population remains steady. Her role is unique in the insect kingdom, as she dedicates her entire life to reproduction. Size and appearance of the queen A termite queen looks vastly different from other termites. As she matures, her abdomen swells dramatically, sometimes reaching several inches in length. This transformation allows her to lay thousands of eggs daily. However, it also renders her immobile, meaning she must rely on workers to feed and groom her. The queen's role in reproduction Once a queen establishes a new colony with her king, she begins laying eggs almost immediately. In mature colonies, she can lay millions of eggs over her lifetime. Some species of termite queens can live for more than 25 years making them among the longest living insects. A remarkable feature of termite queens is their ability to control the colony's population. They release pheromones that regulate the development of new reproductive termites, preventing too many rivals from emerging. The Termite King A vital partner unlike in many insect species where males die shortly after mating, the termite king remains with the queen for life. His primary role is to fertilize the queen's eggs and help establish the colony. The king, though smaller than the queen, is vital in maintaining colony stability. In some termite species, if the original queen dies, the king can help rear replacement reproductives to ensure the colony's survival. While the queen gets most of the attention, the king's presence ensures the continuation of the royal bloodline. Without him, the queen would not be able to sustain the colony's growth. Worker and soldier termites, the colony's backbone. Worker termites. The silent laborers worker termites are the most numerous caste in the colony. They perform all essential tasks, including feeding and grooming the queen since it's immobile. Workers provide her with food and keep her clean. Caring for the young, workers tend to the eggs and nymphs ensuring the next generation survives. Building and maintaining the nest. They construct elaborate tunnel systems and fortify the nest against threats. Foraging for food, workers collect food, mainly wood and plant material, and distribute it throughout the colony. Soldier termites. 
The colony's defenders soldier termites have one primary duty. Defending the colony. They are equipped with large mandibles or chemical spraying abilities, depending on the species. Unlike workers, soldiers cannot feed themselves and rely on workers to survive. Their main threats include predators, ants, spiders, birds, and mammals. Ants are especially fierce enemies of termites. Rival termite colonies. Termites sometimes engage in territorial battles with other colonies. Environmental hazards, floods, extreme heat, and other natural disasters can threaten the queen's survival. Soldier termites are the first line of defense, sacrificing themselves if necessary to protect the queen and the colony. How termites protect their queen? Since the queen is the colony's lifeline, termites have evolved several strategies to keep her safe. Fortified chambers. The queen lives in a specially constructed royal chamber deep within the nest. This chamber is well guarded and difficult for predators to penetrate. Soldier termite protection. Soldiers are stationed around the queen's chamber at all times. If the nest is attacked, they immediately rush to defend it. Sealing entry points. When the colony is under threat, worker termites will seal off entrances to prevent invaders from reaching the queen. They can quickly rebuild tunnels and walls to keep enemies out. Emergency escape routes. Some species have hidden tunnels that allow the queen to be relocated in extreme situations. If the primary chamber is breached, workers move her to a safer location. Chemical warfare. Certain termite species produce chemical defenses. Some soldiers secrete toxic substances that deter predators, while others have sticky secretions that trap intruders. Threats to the queen and how colonies respond predators. Ants are termites' greatest enemies. If an ant colony invades, termite soldiers will fight to the death to protect the queen. Some soldiers even explode, covering their enemies in a toxic glue-like substance. Rival termite colonies. When colonies compete for resources, they may engage in battles. If the queen is killed, the colony will attempt to replace her with a secondary reproductive. Natural disasters. Floods, droughts, and fires can threaten the colony. Workers respond by sealing off chambers, creating drainage systems, or relocating the queen if possible. Communication and coordination in termite societies. Termites communicate primarily through pheromones. The queen releases pheromones that regulate colony behavior, while workers and soldiers use chemical signals to warn of danger. Some species even use vibrations to send distress signals. The evolution and survival strategies of termites. Termites have thrived for over 250 million years, adapting to various environments. Their success is due to their highly structured social system ability to recycle nutrients in ecosystems, sophisticated defensive mechanisms, resilient reproductive strategies. These adaptations ensure that even if a queen is lost, the colony can often recover and rebuild. The ecological role of termites Termites play a crucial role in breaking down dead plant material, enriching the soil, and maintaining the health of ecosystems. Despite their destructive reputation, they are essential for nature's balance. Conclusion The remarkable world of termites Termites are far more than just pests. They're highly evolved, intelligent, and cooperative insects with a deeply structured society. Their ability to protect and sustain their queen demonstrates an incredible level of organization and adaptability. From their underground fortresses to their fearless soldiers, termites have perfected the art of survival. Their story is one of resilience, teamwork, and dedication, a true testament to the power of social cooperation in the animal kingdom. Thank you for watching.